Hello, everyone, and welcome to Taipei Arena, Taipei City. In the 2024 ISU World Junior Figure Skating Championships, this is day number three of competition. The rhythm dance will be first up, followed by the women's free program. As we take a look at the huge building here in Taipei, and not many audience as we work towards the weekend, hopefully for more. But what a beautiful state-of-the-art facility. Well, there are 31 teams from 23 nations in this ice dance event. Last year in Calgary for the Junior World Championships, the gold went to Katrina Merzakova and Daniel Mazak. The silver to Hannah Lim and Ye Kwan from Korea and the bronze to Nadia Bashinska and Peter Beaumont of Canada. 20 teams out of the 31 in the rhythm dance will qualify for the free dance and that will take place tomorrow. And that'll be combined with the men's free program. Today, the women's free will take to the ice after the rhythm dance event. We've had some great skating so far in this competition. We did finish with the Paris free program yesterday. Not stellar skating in the free program, but some really good teams. The men's short program was absolutely outstanding. That was exciting. And so will the free program of the women's today. If you look at the delegation from Brazil, now Canada, small delegations perhaps, but mostly moms and dads, family members supporting their athletes as they travel here. And here we have the, the delegation from Spain, the delegation of four. Great enthusiasm on the Junior Grand Prix and the Junior World Championship. Another three supporters of Canada. There we have Estonia and Czech Republic. And don't forget about Great Britain. And who could forget about the great Torval and Dean back in 1984, Olympic champions. Perfect sixes across the board. Those were perfect scores of, in that day. I'll never forget that moment in the history of our sport. We'll be looking at five elements in the rhythm dance. You'll see a lift and you'll see two patterns of the rocker foxtrot. There'll be two sequences. They can do it in, they do it on different sides of the arena, of course, in any order which they prefer. You'll see the synchronized twizzles and this uh, the step sequence. It can be diagonal or midline steps. A uh, great thing about this discipline is the wonderful entertainment and connection with the music. Of course, the theme here is the 80s. This will be the final competition for that theme. And it's a lot of fun, no question. Lots of small details within the discipline of ice dance that is difficult for really anyone, even skating experts, to see but for sure you will be entertained. As we take a look at the start order for the rhythm dance. 31 teams with 23 nations. There is a look at the officials for the event. We thank them for their time away from home and family and work and the technical panel as well. As we take a look at group number one taking to the ice for their five minute warm up.
Well, there's a look at our first team, Senya Sipanova and Miron Korajan from Estonia. She's 15, he is 17. Young team, first experience at the junior world level. They were 14th on the Junior Grand Prix in Budapest a little earlier this season. And representing Spain, 14-year-old Sarah Masili Vasquez and 15-year-old Yoland Engel. First Junior Grand Prix Worlds as well. No Junior Grand Prix experience yet. They are the Spanish national junior champions. And representing the Czech Republic, Lauren Audrey Batkova and Jakob Yang. Lauren is 17, Jakob is 18. Both born in Canada, competed in one Junior Grand Prix this season, coming 13th in Budapest. They are the Czech junior bronze medalists. The final team in group number one representing Brazil, Katrina Gudez Thibault, 17 years old, and 18 year old Caden Oliver Dawson. This is their first junior world championship. They were 14th in Linz in week two on the Junior Grand Prix, 11th in Osaka. You will notice a difference in the basic skating skills of the early groups compared to the later groups. Less experience, less, perhaps less time together as a team. And as beautiful as ice dance is, as entertaining as it is, do not think it is not difficult because it is incredibly difficult. Their job is to make it look easy, make it look entertaining and connected to the music while they perform very difficult lifts. The side-by-side -side sequential twizzles, very difficult to keep in unison. It is their big element in the rhythm dance and in the free dance as well. Such a complicated discipline from the technique, the technical difficulty, to the aspect of performance, connection to the music. Composition, performance, and skating skills, the three components that the judging panel will evaluate. the technical panel, of course, looking at the five technical elements and the degree of difficulty in each of those. Here we go, day number three, the ISU World Junior Figure Skating Championships, the Rhythm Dance. And our first team represents Estonia, 15-year-old Senja Saponova and 17-year-old Miran Corrigan. Their season's best in the Rhythm Dance is the 34.54 
and they would love to increase that number significantly here at the junior world level. They're coached by Lee Rand and Tavi Rand. And they'll skate to I Want to Dance with Somebody and Steel Claw by Tina Turner. Well, how unfortunate just at the end of that program. Miron hitting the boards at the end of the step sequence and taking a fall. And had a great set of twizzles, both at level four with a plus GOE. And just a reminder on the Rocker Foxtrot sequences, there are four yeses or nos for the technical panel to identify whether the exact step, exact edge was accomplished. And with all eight, unfortunately, for Zenia and Miran, they were in the no category, so they won't get a lot of points out of that, of course. This is very precise and very detailed. Good energy at the top of the program here. There's a straight line lift. That's level four. All four features accomplished here. Nice flow throughout.
Here's a look at the edges of the twizzles. Really fast. Good unison. Nice and close as well. Arms extended. And both these final two sets. Really well done. Now their season's best score in the rhythm dance is 35.54. And as with every team or every individual skater, as this is the final event of the season for most of them, wanting to finish with higher scores with their season's best score. And this just barely makes it at 34.58, four one hundreds better than their previous season's best. They're the first team out in the competition. Our next team represents Spain, 14-year-old Sarah Marsili Vasquez and 15-year-old Johan Engel. Their first junior world experience. They really don't have much international experience at all, but this will be exciting and inspiring. And they'll skate to Father Figure and Faith by George Michael. Oh, nice job by Sarah Masili Vasquez and Johan Engel from Spain. A young team, just 14 and 15 years old, working on the technique, the technical aspect of dance. And much more to come, of course, as they get connected with the music and feel more comfortable. Really like the aggressiveness and the acceleration throughout the program, trying to keep the speed and flow in all the different portions, well, that was really good. Lots of work on detail of 
posture and connection with each other is natural at this stage of development simply takes time and experience and this is one of the big experiences you can get on the world stage and you can see an excitement and anticipation right at the top of the program by this young team and enjoyment as well here's a look at the straight line left nice leg over the head straight down he's in a good spread eagle difficult here's the twizzles they're in at a level one for sarah and level four for violin and you can see the speed coverage good nice little knee slide there Certainly some moments of performance, some moments of focus. A little in and out there, but good job by this young team. Now their season's best, they don't actually have a season's best because they don't have a lot of experience yet. So this will be it. The five elements, three, four were in the minus GOEs. So that is the quality score for each one of those five elements. Your base value is given and you'll get added to or reduced based on the quality of the execution. Well, it's such a young team, just getting used to each other and building the partnership and the awareness of each other on the ice. Four of the five elements were under review by the technical panel, so it always takes a little bit of extra time. Gen generally speaking, the technical panel is a little longer in ice dance. There's lots of detail to look at. The score, and let's take a look at the rhythm dance scores for Sarah and Yolan, 42.81. And that will put them currently in the first place. Second team out in the event. Our next team represents the Czech Republic, 17-year-old Lauren Audrey Batkova and 18-year-old Jacob Yang. Both were born in Canada, and they're coached by Mart Batka. 46.41 is their season's best in the rhythm dance, and they'll skate to Love Will Never Do Without You and Rhythm Nation, both by Janet Jackson.
Well, nice job by Lauren Audrey Batskova and Jakob Yang from the Czech Republic. They look pretty happy with that rhythm dance. Out of the five elements, two were in the minus GOEs, the other three were positive. Twizzles both at level four, that was pretty well done. And the key points, there are eight of them. They had six no's and two yeses on those key points. It was a challenging and detailed part of the dance. Big smiles coming off the ice as they are greeted by Mark. Batka. up in the curve lift that is in level four all four features with a plus goe of 0.34 and there's a little jump into the twizzles good speed good unison and and nice and close so level four for both with a plus goe of 0.46 you get a 7.80 for that one element Well, for the stage this team is at in their journey, this is a solid performance. Their season's best is 46.41. They'll come close to that here. Their composition of 4.64 performance and skating skills all in the mid fours. Certainly, certainly room for improvement. That'll come in time as we take a look. There it is, 45.53 for Lauren and Jacob. And that'll put them currently into first place. Well, there is our final team in group number one, 17-year-old Katharina Gudis thibault and 18-year-old Caden Oliver Dawson. Two Junior Grand Prix events this season. Their season's best is a 42.84. They're coached by Carol and John Lane. They'll skate to the Pointer Sisters medley.
Katrina Gudis, Thibault, and Caden Oliver Dawson representing Brazil. And doing their twizzles, perhaps the most difficult element in the rhythm dance at the very end. You don't often see that even in senior. And they look pretty happy with that coming off the ice. So difficult to concentrate on all the technical elements and technique at the same time to be with your upper body, at least performing and connecting to the music and each other, of course, as a partnership. As I mentioned early on, it always looks great, but it is such a difficult discipline. key points there are eight one yes and seven no's so some work on that small detail those small details to still be done there's the stationary lift a little slow in rotation level three so missing one of the features Some of the midline steps, level one for both partners. And then the final element, a little pull through the legs, right into the twizzles. Level three for Katrina and level four for Caden. Those arms extended as a feature. Little out of sync at the end, right into the last few moves, right at the end of the program. go well done well their season's best is 42.84 and now come close to that we'll see and as they were doing a shout out to Caroline and Yuris Rosguliov and John Lane their whole coaching team back at home preparing for the world championships in Montreal with their teams Thirty-one entries here. The top twenty teams will qualify for the free dance. So it is the wish of many of these teams early on to have the best skate, have the best shot or chance at qualifying for the free dance. Thirty-nine point six two. That is a little bit short of their season's best. That'll put them currently into third place. Not what they had hoped for, for sure. We'll take a short break during the ice resurfacing after group one. There are seven groups. We'll start with group number two after the ice resurfacing. Watching live coverage of the ISU 2024 World Junior Figure Skating Championship, day number three, the rhythm dance. Much more to come. Stay with us.
Welcome back, everyone, to Taipei and the Rhythm Dance on day number three of the Junior World Figure Skating Championship. Well, there is 16-year-old Anita Straub, 19-year-old Andrea Straub, brother-sister team, third junior world championships. They were 24th last year in Calgary. Did not compete this season in the Junior Grand Prix. They are the Austrian junior champions. Here is 17-year-old Hilda Taylor and 20-year-old Nolan Hickey representing Finland, first junior world championship. They were 15th in Linz, 8th in the Bavarian Open. And representing Armenia, Cristina Dobra Sudova and Alessandro Pellegrini. And not a lot of international experience. Two international competitions this season, so relatively new team. Cristina born in Moscow and Alessandro in Milan but representing Armenia. 18-year-old Eliska Sokova and 18-year-old Philip Menzel from the Czech Republic. They were eighth in Bangkok, week number one of the Junior Grand Prix, 11th in Istanbul. They are the Czech Junior Champions. Just a reminder, there are 31 entries into the rhythm dance. 20 of these teams will qualify for the free dance tomorrow. And it's that magic number. What is that for the teams to qualify? It is the goal of all of them to be in the free dance. Of course, a number of teams automat not automatically, but certainly have the skill level. They'll be there. These early groups, these teams really have to have a great skate and a good score to have a chance to get in the top 20. Always like watching the coaches work with the athletes at the side of the boards on a warm up and after the warm up as well just interested in how they handle the skate their skaters psychologically and watching very closely to their warm-up itself and seeing if there's anything that needs to be addressed quite often the less said the better but in junior sometimes some guidance is important such a difficult job coaching this sport the work has been done at home but Competition is a completely a different beast, and providing just the right, right amount of guidance and support and inspiration is a very fine balance.
Our first team represents Austria, 16-year-old Anita and 19-year-old Andrea Straw, brother and sister team. Their season's best is 50.92 in the rhythm dance. And they're going to skate to Take On Me, Another Day in Paradise by Phil Collins, and I'm Still Standing by Eldon John. Well, the brother-sister team of Anita and Andreas Straub from Austria in their rhythm dance. And they look pretty happy with that performance at the end. Lots of room to work on, of course, with all these young teams. And certainly the first part of the program, nice and tidy, good energy. Look to me to get just slightly a little bit tired partway through the program. Uh, they also held their twizzles, sequential twizzles to the end, the last element. As we see them coming off the ice and look nice uh, su support for each other. The coach by Veronica Musalova. Good energy right off the top of the program. Midline steps. 
uh, diagonal setups, pardon me, come in at, you know, level one for both partners with a plus GOE of 0.59. Nice and close together. Good deep edge there. And the key points on the Rocker Foxtrot, both first and second sequence, one out of eight. One yes out of eight. So running a little bit short on those points there. There's the pickup, the rotational lift, change of position. And that was in at level three with a minus 0.24 for GOE. And the first side of the twizzles, maybe a little bent in the free leg there. And level three for both Anita and Andreas. Now their personal best in the rhythm dance is 50.92. They earned that at the Junior Grand Prix back in 2022. And I don't think they'll reach that score here with this program. We'll see right now. There it is, 43.31. And that'll put Anita and Andreas currently in the second place. The short program score for Anita Strom and Andreas Strom is 43.31. This puts them currently in second place. There's a look at your top five teams so far in this event. Our next team represents Finland, 17-year-old Hilda Taylor and 20-year-old Nolan Hickey. One Junior Grand Prix event this year in Linz, 15th, 8th in the Bavarian Open, 40.99, their season's best in the rhythm down. Skating to Let It Rock and living on a prayer at Bon Jovi. Well, this team certainly mastered, particularly 
Nolan mastered the look of the 80s. The taking approach of a, not hard rock, but Well, that was a fun and a look back in time for, sh for sure. And this team is looking to beat their 40.99 season's best score. And I'm pretty sure they will with that program. There's a look at the top of the program, setting the stage for their performance. And there's the straight line left, level four, with a plus GOE of 0.56. And out of the eight key points on the Rocker Foxtrot, there were four yeses and four noes, so split the difference on that. And the Twizzles come in at level three for Hilda and level four for Nolan. This music, it requires intensity and aggressiveness throughout the program. Pretty good deep edges there and their midline steps, which came in at level one for Hilda and level two for Nolan. Program components in the high well, fours. Yeah. Choreographed by Matthew Dolman. And then once again, looking to beat their 40.99. I think they'll do that. Well, season's best, 47.26 for Hilda and Nolan. They look pretty happy with that. That'll put them currently into first place at this stage of the competition. Well, the next team is pretty inexperienced, pretty young. Cristina Dobrosodova and Alessandro Pellegrini. Cristina 17, Alessandro 21. Coached by Alexei Sitnikov. And they'll skate to straight up by Paula Abdul and tell it to my heart.
Well, a new team from Armenia, Christina Dobra Sodola and Alessandro Pellegrini. And both skaters, really nice posture, some good positions, nice stretched free leg where it needed, and maybe a little bit mechanical, a little bit cautious in the beginning, but this is a young team and a new partnership, and it takes time just to get comfortable, to be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more speed and flow across the ice. They don't have a season's best, as I mentioned, just two international competitions, one in 2023 and one this year. Starting that long process of a partnership. There's a look at the up over the shoulders of the straight line lift. That is a level four with a plus GOE of 0.41, so that was a good element. The Rocker Fox shot sequence says. Five no's and three yeses. There's the twizzles. And a level four for both, which is great. The plus GOE of 0.57. So they're gaining 8.03 on that one element. And very tidy in many ways throughout the program. Nice and clean and just a little bit slow. But that's to be expected early on. Nicely done. Well, they'll need a 47.28 to take the lead. The scores, please. And the rhythm dance scores for Christina and Alessandro is 49.14 as they do indeed take the lead here in the rhythm dance. Well done for a young team as they continue to gain experience. Our next team represents the Czech Republic, 18-year-old Aliska Zakova and 18-year-old Philip Menzel. Two Junior Grand Prix this season, eighth in Bangkok, 11th in Istanbul. They are the junior champions of the Czech Republic. They'll skate to I Love Rock and Roll, Still Loving You, and Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi.
Well, you can see just a little disappointed with that slip at the end of the performance. This is a physically a little stronger team than what we've seen so far in this event. Deeper edges, more confidence through most of the program at least. Out of the five elements, four are under review by the technical panel, so some work on their part to take a look at the detail. The sequential twizzles off the top of the program. Level three and level four with a nice plus GOE, so the quality rewarded 1.14. Same thing with midline steps, good GOE scores. As we see the top of the program, good energy. Good speed coming into the twizzles, broken leg feature. First direction hands on the head, close to the head, right into the third set, nice. 6.98 points for that one element. Midline steps, level one now for both partners, but a GOE of 1.04, so quality well rewarded. Unfortunately, on the Rocker Foxtrot portions, all no's, no yeses on the key points. Rotational lift level four at the end of the program. So those key points are really hurt in the scores here. Their season's best was 48.30, and they're gonna draw a little short on that score. It was a good start to the program, but a couple items a little bit later and they are putting fall in the rotational lift at the end there so that will bring the score down even further and that's gonna hurt Rhythm dance scores for Aliska and Philip. And they're gonna be uh, maybe just a little disappointed with this score, but that fall at the end was really costly. All the scores are in. I'm not sure exactly what the holdup is. <laughs> well, here we go. 44.06. And that is fourth in the rhythm dance. Not what they're capable of, it's not what they hope for, of course. And that'll put them in fourth place. And there is a look at your top five teams so far in the event. And there is a look at the standings so far after two groups. And the start order for group number three as they take to the ice.
Just a look at Irmak, Yusel, and Daniel Pack. No information on them in their bio, so we don't know really what the music is and what the who their coach is. It's a pretty new team. And there is Elisa Corneva and Kieran McDonald from Canada. She's 17, he is 21. The first Junior World Championships. They were fifth in Yarvin. The Canadian Junior Bronze Medalist. Representing Georgia, 18-year-old Maria Alieva and 21-year-old Yehor Barshak. Second Junior Worlds for Yehor last season with partner Grace Elizabeth Venick. Uh, then place, they placed 19th this season on the Junior Grand Prix. This team was 10th in Istanbul, 6th in Budapest. And representing the Czech, Repu Czech Republic, Natalie Blasova and Philip Blas. Natalie 15, Philip 18 years old, sixth in Bangkok, 13th in Gdansk, two time Czech national junior silver medalist. The world junior champions last year come from the Czech Republic. Katarina Mrazakova and Daniel Mrazak as they took the title in Calgary. If you look at some of the Canadian contingent cheering their teammates on. A lot of these teams are new and they're young and they're still gaining experience and this is such an important event. No matter how well they skate, most often you learn more from having challenges, but skating at a world junior level, these new teams take stock of where they stand on, in the world and go back to work and you'll see them come out stronger in the next Junior Grand Prix series and the next season. Now the men can skate up to the age of 21 in both dance and pairs and the rest of the women and the men single skaters up to the age of 19. So age plays a factor in how long you can stay in the junior series. And here is our first team in a group number three, a team we don't know much about. There's no information on their bio. They do represent Turkeya. Emak Yusel, 18 years of age, and Danielle Pack is 17. And they're coached by Dennis Samokin. They'll skate. The rhythm dance to the best, and we are the world.
Well, representing Turkeya, Imak Yusel, and Danielle Pack. And not having seen this team before, the top of the program was pretty good. Nice deep edges, good knees. Looked to get a little tired and a little sloppier halfway through the program, but. Not a lot of experience at all. We're not exactly sure where they have competed. You can see now they do have three internationals, one back in 2023, two this year. They started out with mid nine steps, level one for Imac and level two for Danielle. Plus GOE though, a 0.74, so that was good. Good quality on that step sequence. Key points on the Rocker Foxtrot. Six no's, two yes. There's the look up to pick up the twizzles. Good speed and then drifting apart quite a bit. Uh, level three for Imac and level four for Danielle. Minus 1.03 for the GOE. So quality losing some points. There's the pickup on the rotational lift at the end of the program. That is in at four, but with a minus GOE as well. And there they go. Some more experience gained here in the world stage. The sword, and the rhythm dance scores for Imak and Danielle. 46.89, that'll put the third in the rhythm dance so far in this, this event. The short program score for Irma Giselle and Daniel Park is 46.89. There is a look at your top five teams so far. Our next team represents Canada. 17-year-old Elisa Coneva and 21-year-old Kieran McDonald. They're coached by Carly McDonald, Paul McIntosh, choreographed by Joel Deere. Fifty-one point seven zero. Their season's best. Getting to hip to be square at dance hall days, and everyone, everybody, have fun tonight.
Well, good energy throughout this program for Elisa Corneva and Karen McDonald from Canada. I mean, their season's best, 51.70. They look to maybe beat that score here and take the lead. We'll find out. Some All the elements in the positive Joe E. So gaining points on the quality of the execution of the technical elements. The levels of difficulty, both achieving level four on the first element, the sequential twizzles. So great score of 7.91 off that first element. Great start to the program. Wonderful energy. Nice. Here's a look at the entrance of the twizzles. Arms above the head, broken free leg. Second set, arms extended. Third set, hands above the head. Level four for both, 0.57 plus GOE. Good expression here in this part of the program. Nice work. Rocker Fox struck sequences. They had five no's and three yeses. In the details, diagonal steps in at level one for Elisa and level two for Kieran. But a good GOE. There's the level four rotational lift at the end of the program. Nice. Really nice. Great work. There with Coach Carly McDonald. As I mentioned, their season's best was 51.70. And they come in here with a 53.08. So that is a season's best here on the world stage. You gotta work on those high fives, but <laughs> nice job by Elisa and Kieran as they take over the lead. Well, the next team represents Georgia, 18-year-old Maria Alieva and 21-year-old Yehar Barshak. Second junior worlds for Yehar. And this team, this new team together, were 10th in Istanbul, 6th in Budapest, 55.19, their season's best in the rhythm dance. Getting to what have you done for me lately, love will never do. And Rhythm Nation by Janet Jackson.
representing Georgia, Maria Alieva, Yehor Barshak. Well, good energy to start the program. Look to be get a little tired partway through and You can see that actually the scores of their elements, pretty strong GOEs in the first element. But in the last three, Rocket Fox truck sequences and the rotational left lower GOE scores. So a little fatiguing perhaps. And their season's best 55. Not sure they're gonna reach that with this performance today. We'll see. As they get greeted by Alexei Kilikov, their coach coming off the ice. <laughs> it looks like either some instructions or singing right off the top of the program by Maria. Here's a look at the midline steps. Level one for both, but a plus 1.34 GOE scores. So 8.30 for the first element in the program. Great start. There's a nice lift going into the twizzles here. Level three for Maria. Level one for Yehor. The minus GOE of 0.57. So a little disappointment on that element. Rock and Fox Truck sequence is seven no's and one yes. So missing some of those points on the detail of the Rock and Fox Truck. The pickup in the rotational lift, that is a level four with a plus 0.48. So 5.93 for that last element. And this score is going to fall short of their season's best. Two hearts from three people. Dance door, the rhythm dance scores for Maria and Yehor, 48.93. So that is quite a bit lower than their expectation or their hope. That puts them currently in the third place at this stage of the competition. There is a look at your top five teams so far. Ladies and gentlemen, our final team in group number three, representing the Czech Republic, 15-year-old Natalie Blasova and 18-year-old Philip Blas. Fifty-three point three six is their season's best in the rhythm dance, as they will skate to the best, and it's raining men. By the Weather Girls.
Well, nice job by Natalie Blasova and Philip Blas from the Czech Republic. Lots of energy in that program. So difficult to, on one hand, focus on the every step, every edge, all the detail technically, and then also to portray the energy of that music. Mul doing multiple things all at the same time. What makes this discipline so difficult? The season's best is the 53.36. We'll see how close they come to that score with that performance. Out of the five elements, four are under review by the technical panel, so certainly some work to look at the detail. They're greeted by Karolina Prochaskova, their coach and choreographer. Great start here to the program, right into the 80s theme. There's good speed coming into the twizzles. Level three for Natalie and level two for Philip. And the key points in the first sequence, they were all yeses. In the second, they were all noes. So they split it for yes, for no, for the key points. Those midline steps, level one for Natalie, level two for Philip. Here's the stationary lift, not easy entry. Get that left foot right on top of his right foot. And plus GOE, a good 6.27 points for that final element. All the program components, composition, presentation, and the skating skills in the mid fives. Rhythm dance scores for Natalie and Philip. And 49.69, that is about four points shy of their season's best, and that'll put them currently in the second place. <laughs> but still, smiles in the kiss and cry enjoyment for participation and as we take a look at the standings and Elisa and Kieran have the cue beside their name they have qualified for the top 20 and the free dance and we'll see more of those as the final four groups take to the ice and we're going to take a short break during the ice resurfacing we'll be back with much more from Taipei's stay with us
representing Great Britain, Molly Hairston and Alexio Surenkov Kutchev. Representing Canada, Zoe Nguyen and Brandy Chang. And representing Korea, Jinny Kim and Namu Lee. With a second placement at the ISU JGP Cup of Austria, 2023 in Linz, representing Canada, Chloe Moran and Brendan Chung. They placed third at the ISU JJP Bangkok 2023 in Bangkok, representing Korea, Jimmy Kim and Nam Lee. Welcome back to Taipei and day three coverage of the World Junior Figure Skating Championship group number four on the ice for their warm up as we approach halfway through the rhythm dance. a look at Aaron Lowe, Canadian coach out of Vancouver, an Olympian in 2006 and with his partner and wife, Megan Wing, who taught a lot of dancers, particularly on the Junior Grand Prix and the Junior Circuit. Canadian team officials and some support for Belgium. The junior events, both in the Grand Prix and the world events, pretty much just supported by friends and family and teammates. It's a small community, but it's special. 
Here we go. Group number four in the rhythm dance. And we will start with a team from Belgium, 14-year-old Sofia Beznikova and 17-year-old Max Delu. On the Junior Grand Prix, they were 13th in Linz, 7th in Budapest, 4th in the Bavarian Open. This is their second Junior World appearance. And they'll skate the rhythm dance to another one bites the dust and call me. Season's best, 52.52. Oh, what a nice job by Sofia Bezdekova and Max Lelou from Belgium. Strong skating skills, comfortable with each other. You can see they have experience together as a team and able to skate a little bit more free, so not so thinking about where they're placing each foot because that has been well trained and able to perform at a little bit of a higher level than some of the earlier teams. We'll see what the score is going to be their season's best is 52.52, but I suspect this will be either very close, if not above that season's best. You can see them coming off the ice. Pretty pleased with that performance. Clearly uh, a little bit of a higher level of basic skating skills with this team. More comfort, more confidence in the program. Really good speed coming into these chisels. Grab the blade, hand above the head. There it is. And they're in at a level three for Sophia, at level four for Max. A plus GOE of just a 0.23, so 7.20 for that one element. But well done. A 
and the midline steps, level two for both, with a plus GOE of 0.74, so 8.20 for that element. They had the five yeses and three noes on the key points of the Rocker Fox Truck. Rotational lift at the end of the program. Good energy from top to bottom, and we've seen some of the teams tire a little bit partway through, but not so with Sophia and Max. There you go, big smiles, lots of energy still in the kiss and cry, pleased with that performance, and hopefully happy with the scores. There with coach Elisabetta Nemseva. And a young team, 14 and 17, so a number of years left on the junior circuit, already with a good basic skating and good elements. And let's take a look at the rhythm dance score here. 53.62, season's best as they take the lead. Really well done, strong score. Well, I'm not sure the coach is happy with the score, but certainly the skaters are, as Max is pointing it out. Our next team represents Great Britain. 17-year-old Molly Harrison and 20-year-old Alessio Sorenkov-Golchev. 52.97 personal best. Skating state of shock. This place, hotel, and can you feel it by the Jacksons.
from Great Britain, Molly Harrison and Alicio Serenkov Golchev. And for Alicio, just not easy to skate the rest of the program after that bobble on the Twizzles, bringing his down to a level one with a minus GOE of 2.67. Skated a little bit tight after that mistake. He got a little bit more comfortable later in the program for sure. But this score will fall quite short of their 52.97 season's best. Good team, lots of power, good deep edges. Just that one big mistake affected the rest of the program a little bit. 17 and 20, we most likely will see them on the Junior Grand Prix series for one more year. Coach Paul Dredge. A look at the opening. Good energy. Start. And there's the entrance into the Twizzles. Let's see what happens for Alicio on the second set. Oh, we just missed that in the replay. Rocker Foxtrot, there were six no's and two yeses. So losing some, certainly in the detail of that part of the rhythm dance. There's a pickup into the rotation lift near the end of the program. That's level four, of course, the plus QE. Program component scores all in the mid to high five. So that's a good indication of where they are at in that portion of the dance. Just that one big mistake. But a really strong team, so they have a good future. They just need the mileage. They just need the time, the experience, and the mileage, the repetition. And the experience. The choreography was done by Matteo Zani. I love having the microphones at the kiss and cry and listening to the conversation between the coaches and skaters. The scores of the rhythm dance for Molly and Alicio, 44.19. They see, they know what the challenges were there. That is ninth in the rhythm dance so far. And that will be certainly a little bit disappointing. A good six or seven points off their personal best. Next up, the Canadian junior silver medalist, 18-year-old Chloe Nguyen and 20-year-old Brendan Jiang. They took the silver medal in Linz week two in the Junior Grand Prix in sixth place in Osaka. Their season's best is a 56.72. They're coached by Megan Wing and Aaron Lowe. They're skating to Let's Dance and Dancing in the Street by David Bauer.
Well, this perhaps was the best of the season for Chloe Nguyen and Brendan Jiang. Their season's best is 56.72. This is going to be a much bigger score than that. This was full out energy. And this is a fairly new team, less than one year together, but they both had former partners. And when they got matched up, they simply click. They make each other better. More energy, more comfort and confidence. Well, what a great job. And they have to be pleased with that performance. They still have the free to come. But finishing the season at the Junior World Championship in this way, it's icing on top of the cake. And you can see Aaron Lowe and talking to them as they come off the ice because he's got the next team that represents Korea. We'll see them in just a few moments as we take a look at Chloe and Brendan. And on their Rocker Foxtrot, they had seven yeses, one no. There's a look at the straight line lift at level four. All elements in the plus GOEs, the sequential twizzles were at level four for both with a 1.60 GOE. So quality scores were high. Levels of difficulty all there. So take a look at that little jump into the twizzles. Good unison, good speed, arms extended. All features required are accomplished for level four. And they kept the same speed and energy from the first note to the last. Had to hang on just a little ahead of their music there. Great job. Yes, they do have coaches. They're just not there. Aaron is with his next team, and Megan back at home. Continuing to work with the rest of the dance teams. Let's take a look at the score. Their season's best was 56, but this is a 61. This is huge. 61.22 for this team. They're so thrilled with that. Yeah, great job. Congratulations. And our next team represents Korea. 16-year-old Jenny Kim, 16-year-old Namu Lee. Second Junior World Championships. They were 25th last year in Calgary. They were third in Bangkok. Great result in week one of the Junior Grand Prix. Tenth in Osaka. They are coached by Aaron Lowe and Megan Wing. 56.58 personal bests at the Winter Youth Olympic Games. They'll skate to I Love Rock and Roll, and all she wants to do is dance.
Well, this team has improved so much this past season. As I mentioned, they grabbed the bronze in Bangkok, gaining them a lot of confidence. I dropped a couple places in their next event in Osaka. But they saw what they could do early on in the Junior Grand Prix season. Started to skate with more confidence and more aggressiveness. Now their season's best of 56.58. They may or may not reach that score. It'll come close. But that was a pretty strong performance. Six out of the eight key points were achieved. And the Twizzle's in at level four for both skaters. In minus GOE on the execution though, just a little bit. And there's the coach, Aaron Lowe. Both his teams back to back. What are, they, what are the odds in a field of 31? And there is a look at their Rocker Foxtrot part, six out of the eight key points achieved there's the jump into the twizzles good speed and really close as well a little bit out here in the second set level four for Ginny and level three for Namu minus 0.23 but midline steps level two for both partners with a plus 1.04 for the GOE so good element there the final element the rotational lift level four with a plus GOE Program components all in the low sixes. With just 16 and 15, so lots of time on the juniors to continue to improve. And they've made so much improvement in this past season. Rhythm dance scores for Ginny Kim and Namu Lee, 54.73. And they're pretty happy. That's a little bit shy of their personal best in week one, but this puts them currently in a second place. They look pretty pleased with that. Top two teams, Aaron Lowe must be pretty happy, at least at this stage of the competition. Much more to come. The Q beside the name means they qualified for the free dance tomorrow. 15 teams yet to skate. And we'll watch as group number five takes to the ice for their warm up. Well, there is 16-year-old Sarah Akishimoto and 20-year-old Atsuhiko Tamura from Japan. This is their first Junior World event, fourth in Osaka and third in Gdansk on the Junior Grand Prix this season. They are the Japanese Junior Champions. And they train in Montreal with Roman Hagenauer and Maria France de Bray Partis Lausanne and team. And there's Sophia Duval and Victor. Tulesa from Poland, second junior world 
Championship, seventh in Istanbul, ninth in Gdansk. Polish junior champions in 2023. Senior silver medalists this season, 20th at Europeans. So getting some senior experience. Let's look at Scott Moyer, two-time Olympic champion at the boards with 16-year-old Leila Villian and 18-year-old Alexander Brandes. And they were fourth in Bangkok, seventh in Osaka on the Junior Grand Prix. They are the Canadian Junior Champions. And there is 16-year-old Yali Patterson and 21-year-old Jeffrey Chen from the United States. This is their first Junior Worlds together. Jeffrey competed in 2022 with partner Katrina wolf Costin, placing fourth. In and this season as a team, they competed in Istanbul and Budapest. They were second in both, taking the silver medals, sixth at the Junior Grand Prix final in Beijing. They are coached by Charlie White, Greg Zerlein, and Tanith White. And representing Italy, Naomi Maria Tali and Noah Lafon Lafonera. Second Junior Worlds for Naomi, coming 17th last year with partner Stefano Frasca. This year on the Junior Grand Prix, Noah, they were third in Yarvin, fifth in the Bavarian Open. So a really good start to this new partnership. Well, as, uh, as we noticed in the last group, and we'll continue to do so over the next three groups, is the speed of the skaters, the basic skating skills, the depth of edge, and the connection, the experience, will be at a much higher level. Team officials standing behind the white line on the track. <laughs> Coaches at the boards. Team managers, federation officials here in support of their junior team. In just a few weeks, many will move to Montreal for the World Figure Skating Championship. And how exciting will that be? They'll be at the Bell Center March 18th to 22nd. And you won't want to miss that. The first team to take to the ice in group number five, Sarah Kishimoto and Atsuhiko Tamura, representing Japan. Now their season's best in the rhythm dance, 59.74. That's a good score. They're going to need a little bit more than that to take the lead. Skating to Mr. Roboto and just get through this night.
Well, a unique and different program by Sarah. And that Hiko had not heard that music in the 80s. I'm sure it was, but not common in North America. But certainly innovative and different and fun. Well, some really good GOE scores, particularly on the twizzles and the midline steps. Also, the stationary lift at the end of the program. And coming off the ice and being greeted by the coach Benjamin Brisebois, one of the coaches on the team in Montreal. Mr. Roboto, here we take a look at the entrance to the Twizzles. These are in at level three for Sarah. But with a 1.14 GOE added to the score with an 8.11 total score for that element, that was nice. Five yeses and three noes on the key points in the Rocker Foxtrot portion of the dance. And there's that stationary lift right at the end of the program. That's a level four with a plus GOE of 1.03, 6.48 total score for that last element. PCs, composition performance and skating skills all in the mid six range so their season's best 59.74 we'll see where this score score falls on that they would need a 61.24 to take the lead and it's a 56.75 but that'll put Sarah and Natsuhiko currently in the second place There is your top five teams so far in this event. Our next team represents Poland, 17-year-old Sofia Doval and 20-year-old Victor Kuleza. Second Junior Worlds. 58.55, skating to wake me up before you go, go, and only you.
Sofia Duval and Victor Kulezo from Poland. Well, lots of energy from top to bottom on that program and their season's best of 58.55. They will come pretty close to that, I believe, with this performance. They're really strong basic skating skills. They're comfortable. They're not reaching for each other. They know where each other is at all times. They look very experienced and they look really happy with that performance here on the Junior World Stage. And boy, do I remember those colors back in the 80s where pretty much anything went as far as co design and costumes. It all worked. Particularly if it was bright. Some good character play right off the top of the program. There's a flip right up into the entrance of the Twizzles. That was awesome. Great entry. Level four for Sophia and level three for Victor with a 1.14 GOE. So total score of 8.11. Good start. And there's the pickup. Straight line lift or curve lift, pardon me. Level four. 6.07 for that. Nice steep edges on that midline step. That is a level two for Sophia and level one for Victor. And smiles all around in the kiss and cry as we take a look at the coach on their left side, Sylvia Nowak Tobacca. Has done so much for ice dance in Poland as a skater and as a member of the technical committee within the ISU and technical specialists. Season's best at 58.55, looking to top that score they would need that at least to get into second place in this event so far at least in the competition rhythm dance score it's a 54.19 a little shy of their season's best of course that's fourth so far in the rhythm dance Our next team represents Canada, 16-year-old Leila Delia and 18-year-old Alexander Brandes. They're coached by Scott Moyer, Adrian Diaz, Kara Moyer, Madison Hubble. What a team. 52.37. Season's best. Footloose.
Well, what a great performance by Leila Velia and Alexander Brandes of Canada. Energy from the first note to the last. Good, strong technical skills. And very good GOEs. All positive GOEs on their elements. The new Canadian junior champions. They were second in this rhythm dance at the national championships and took the free dance to take the title over Chloe Nguyen and Brenda Jiang. There is Scott Moyer greeting them as they come off the ice. And Scott was not only a great competitor, a great skater, of course, he's doing so well in coaching and so supportive, not only of the skate team, but the skaters and their personal development. As we take a look at great energy at the top of the program here. It's midline step in at level one for Layla and level two for Alexander, but a 1.34 plus GOE. So great scores, 8.55 on that first element. Five yeses, three noes on the key points and the Rocker Foxtrot. Really good speed and attack on these twizzles here. Level four for both with the plus GOE of 0.91. Expression all the way through this program, not only technical strength, but performance. In the mid sixes for the PCs. And there it is. Nicely done. <laughs> well, let's take a look. Season's best at 52.37. They should beat that. and But they'll need a 61.24 to take the lead. This score for the rhythm dance here is 58.08. So that is a season's best, but that'll put them currently into second place. Great job. Our next team represents the United States of America. 16-year-old Yali Peterson and 21-year-old Jeffrey Chen. They're coached by Charlie White, Greg Zerline, and Tanith White. It's the first Junior World Championships together. 64.90 is their season's best in the rhythm dance, skating to a kind of magic and under pressure by Queen.
Well, nicely done by Yali Pedersen and Jeffrey Chen from the United States. And they look pretty happy at the end of that rhythm dance. Well, their season's best was a big score of 64.90. And they earned that at the Junior Grand Prix in Budapest. And this dance will come a little bit short of that. But all elements were in the positive GOEs with the first two being above one. PC scores in the mid to high sixes. And there is Tenneth White greeting them as they come off the ice. And there's a look at the entrance to the Twizzles. They're in a level four for both partners with a plus 1.14 for the GOE. So total of 8.48. The first element, great start. Midline steps, level two for Yali and level one for Jeffrey. 1.04 GOE. So an 8.25 for element number two. The Rocker Fox trot, they had six no's and two yeses for the key points. And here's the rotational lift at the end of the program. Level four, of course, with an additional 0.96 GOE. All right, the coaching talent at this event, Yell's Olympic champions and Olympics medalists, world champions. And it's great to see the past generations preparing the next for their successes. 56.81, and that will put Yali and Je Jeffrey currently into third place. Our final team in group number five, representing Italy, Naomi Maria Tali and Noah Lafonera. This is a relatively new partnership, 52.79, their season's best in the rhythm dance. They'll skate to just an illusion, and it's raining men by the weather girls.
Well, that was a solid rhythm dance by Noemi Maria Tali and Noah Lafonera from Italy. Wow. Great. GOE scores on all their elements are adding up that score. 52.79 is their season's best, and they'll beat that score by a lot with that dance. Couldn't have come at a better time. Their top performance of the year. Full out, great energy, aggressive all the way, but secure as they're greeted by Coach Falta Rizzo when they get off the ice. And that was awesome. speed here on this Rocker Fox trot portion of the dance. And they have uh, six yeses and two noes on the Rocker Fox shot. Good speed into the sequential twizzles. Level four for both with a plus GOE of 1.60. Nine or 8.94 for that one element. Just no hesitation anywhere. Great speed and flow and close skating, tracking each other through this midline step at level one for Noemi and level three for Noah. And then the rotational left at the end of the program. Great speed, 1.17 GOE score. They really maxed out every element. That's when the whole year of training and experience, those that are good and those that are challenging, comes together and produces this performance at the moment you most want it and that the, you most need it. So 52, 52.79 is their season's best. Walter Rizzo, of course, such a quiet, shy guy. Uh, you know, bags of personality, a lot of fun. Always having fun with his athletes and people around. And I'm thinking that they're going to really enjoy the score that's about to be delivered, and deservedly so. Walter's wise, he knows the microphone is on. Well, the PC scores are in the low to high. The composition is 6.86. Performance is 6.96 6 and the skating skills 6.79. So good PC scores. And here they are. The scores for the rhythm dance. 62.58, that's the season's best by almost 10, po or by 10 points, and that puts this team currently in the first place. I thought they would have reacted a lot more than that, so maybe their expectation was really high, but there you go, your top five teams so far in the competition. Great dance, great score as they take the lead. Okay, there are the standings so far after five groups. 10 skaters, 10 teams yet to come.
We'll take a short break during the ice resurfacing. We'll be back with much more from Taipei in the Rhythm Dance. Stay with us.
Welcome back to Taipei, group number six in the rhythm dance, taking to the ice for their warm up. Two more groups. The women's free program will follow the rhythm dance a little bit later today. Top 24.
Well, there is a look at Gina Gender and Better Leon Sieber from Switzerland. She is 18, he is 19. Second Junior Worlds, they were 29th in 2020. Swiss Junior Champions. Danya Moeden and Theo Bijo from France. Just 14 and 15 years of age. They were eighth in Linz, third in Budapest, second two silver medals in Nice and Dortmund as well. A team with an exciting future for sure. Sixteen-year-old Eliana and twenty-year-old Ethan Peel, first Junior Worlds Championship, third in Linz, second in Yarvin. And they almost made the Junior Grand Prix final. They were tied with Fragi and Fourneau of France, but the tie break caused them to end up seventh, and they did not make the Junior Grand Prix final. But Really good team, continuing to improve. Representing Cyprus, Angelina Kudryatseva and Ilya Karankovic. They're coached by Matteo Zani. Third Junior Worlds, 10th last year in Calgary. They did not compete internationally in 2023, but here they are. The World Junior Championship. There is a look at 14 year old Ashley Slat Slater and 16 year old Alt. Ongate Perez from Great Britain. The second Junior World Championships, they were 18th last season. Fourth in both Linz and Budapest. Had a good season, they are the British Junior Champions. Our first team represents Switzerland. Gina Gender and Bera Leon Sieber. 59.65, their season's best. Earning that in Gdansk at the Solidarity Cup on the Junior Grand Prix. And they'll skate the rhythm dance to race and Joe Le Taxi.
Well, certainly a unique number to a piece of music coming out in the 80s. The five elements all are under review by the technical panel, so lots of work to do. We've got some pretty high GOE scores, but some work by the technical panel to ensure the levels of difficulty are accurate. Coach Cornelia Leroy coming off the ice as we take a look at some of the elements. Certainly, no question, the themed which drives the composition, the choreography, most certainly both at the beginning and the end as we take a look at the entrance of the Twizzles, level four for both Gina and Vera Leon with 1.14 GOE. So, a great 8.48 of the first element that nice roll over the shoulder into that straight line lift going backwards. A nice high GOE score on that as well. The diagonal steps at the end of the program, level one for both. She has to do a T-stop to slow that car down right by the end of the board. It's really nicely done. A lot of fun. Nice message to the coach back home. Well, the season's best, 59.65. We'll see how close they come to that, whether they can top that score. They'll need a 62.60 to take the lead or a 61.24 for second. And as this event continues to progress, the scores will just get tighter. All the teams are very good and they all skate clean. Makes it so difficult. Always anxious in the kiss and cry, waiting for those numbers to pop up on the screen. Taking so long. It is. But five, all five elements under were under review by the technical panel, so they have to take a look at the replays of those elements. That's a bit of a process. It's wonderful to hear. I wish at some point in time the audience gets to hear how that technical panel works. It's really brilliant. It's non-emotional factual and very professional. The scores, and here are the scores. The rhythm dance for Gina Gender and Bette Leon Sieber of Switzerland. Anxious just for a few more moments. Here it is, 58.90. That is shy of their personal best, but that will put them currently into third place. It's tight, so lots of room to be able to move in the free dance. So you can see 62, 61, 58, 58. Our next team represents France. Dania Moeden and Theo Bijot from France, 14 to 15 years of age, and they are coached by Barbara Piton. 59.48 seasons best. Skating to last night and walk like an Egyptian.
Well, really nice program by Dania Moadan and Theo Bijou from France. They track each other so well. Wonderful leg extensions, posture throughout the program. Very similar skating technique. Well, well matched. And just 14 and 15 years of age, so lots of time to continue to develop on the junior circuit. But such fine or refined qualities already. Bright future for this team. You can see how well matched they are in their synchronization and their movement. Look how close they're skating together. Good deep edges, nice rocker there. Hips are nice and close here in traditional dance hole and Always the same distance away from each other, pretty much. There's the straight line lift. Level four. All elements in the plus GOEs. There's the pickup of the twizzles, the, the blade, the hand over the head, the features there, the arms extended on the second set. And level four for both partners with the GOE at 1.49 for that last element. Really good. For such a young team, so sophisticated, so together. Well, the season's best is 59.48. We'll see how close they come to that. And a 59 would put them in third place, but we'll see. And it's so nice at the ages of 15 and 14 to sort of be growing up together have the same energy, same style, and a really well-matched team. Some great potential. And as all the French skaters are, they'll bring something unique and innovative to their programs as they continue on their pathway. 58.66, that's just a bit shy of their season's best. That'll put them currently into fourth place. They look pretty happy with that score, should be, with that solid rhythm dance look how close those scores are 58 58 58 and that's just three points off second place at this stage of the competition but much more to come and our next team represents the united states of america 16 year old eliana peel 20 year old ethan peel coached by their father robert peel it's a family affair 62.52 and they'll skate to What Have You Done For Me Lately and Rhythm Nation by Janet Jackson.
Well, you could see at the end of that program in the on-screen scoring, at least for the technical elements, they were tied at 35 points with Noemi Maria Dali and Noah Bafonera from Italy. So what will this end up to be? We'll find out in just a few moments what a strong dance that was. And this brother and sister team skate so closely together, they just innately know where each other is and they track each other so beautifully. Good, strong, deep edges. And really good P, uh, GOE scores. Uh, 2.08 on the midline steps at a level three for Eliana and level two for Ethan. The Twizzles, level four for both, was 1.49. So great scores, great quality. And their season's best at 62.52 is in jeopardy of being removed with a new high score. We'll see. It's very tight at the moment. And look at how close they are. Great first set of twizzles, hands above the head, good speed, good unison. Second set, opposite direction of rotation, never easy, but it looks solid there. And during their midline step sequence, uh, an on ice, down on their knees and their hands, sliding and dance moves, not easy. It takes a lot of energy to go down and then up as part of the choreography. And perhaps just a little risky, but it was so well done. And we get the timing with the music and the unison throughout the program. Really, really well done. Hey guys. Heart. Thank you everyone for watching. Hi mommy, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> Hi mom, I miss you. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, when the skaters can say that was fun when they come off the ice, that is, that's gold. And that, they bring that fun that they have to the audience as they watch, and that's so important. If they're acting like they have fun versus really having fun, it's a significant difference. And she's still having fun in the kiss and cry. Well, their season's best at 62.52. How close will this be? A little lower at a 61.65, but that'll put them currently in a second place. Ever, ever so close as we see 62.58, 61.65, and 61.22. Wow. The free dance. Wow, what a battle this is going to be. Our next team represents Cyprus, 18-year-old Angelina Kudiatseva and 20-year-old Ilya Karankovic. The coach and choreograph by Matteo Azani, 62.15 is their season's best. They'll skate to Like a Prayer and Prayer for Spanish and Material Girl by Madonna.
A strong performance by Angelina Nelia from Cyprus. And they will fit into the top group as well, ever so close. Such little difference between these teams. When the skating skills and the execution of the technical elements and the quality in which they're delivered are all pretty much the same. They're getting similar, if not the same scores. And how will this all come out in the free dance? We'll find out, of course, tomorrow. It'll be ever so exciting because lots can happen with such a tight race. You cannot afford to have one small bobble because it will be the difference. You see the energy right off the top of the program. Great speed. As we come into the Tuzos, look at the speed across the ice. Level four for both partners with a 1.60 GOE. Total score of 8.94 for that first element. And a great start to the program. There's a rotational lift up to show level. This is the level four later in the program with a 103 GOE. Lost a little bit, for me, a little bit of energy near the end of the program. It was electric at the top and really good at the end, but not quite the same as we take a look at them in the kiss and cry. It didn't compete internationally in 2023. And let's take a look. Rhythm dance score, 59.68. And that'll put Angelina and Nelia currently into fourth place. It's ever so close, so. They're not exactly tied, but almost. Less than two points out of third at this point of the competition. Our final team in group number six represent Great Britain, Ashley Slater and Alt Ange Perez. Well, their season's best is 56.75, so that's significantly less than the teams that we've seen so far. They'll have to have a great dance right now. Skating too, it's tricky. And walk this way.
Well, what a difficult approach. This is completely different than the rest of the 80s themes. It's a mixture of hard rock and a little bit of rap. And to keep that energy and that toughness, if you will, throughout while you're trying to dance the beautiful steps in the Rocker Foxtrot. Wow. Very, very difficult. But they did a great job. And their season's best, 56.75. It's completely different. The music as well, for many of the judges, probably of that generation, it's harder. It's harsher. But this team committed to that theme and committed to the characters all the way. And it's been a good theme for them throughout this season. Right off the top, they've got to be in character. They've got to use that energy or they just can't sell this program very well. And they did a great job. They've got a little tired near the end of the program. So much energy output and not just the moves, but the energy of the... I won't say anger, but it's intense. Look at that stationary lift, just beautiful. That's in at a level four, and the 1.17 GOE. Got to keep that energy up over there, and they do. Now, for Ashley, I'm not sure if we'll see the twizzles. There were little bobbles in the twizzles, so she got only a level two here. You can see that's the first set. That wasn't too bad. The second, just a little loss of balance there, and into the third, and right there as well. So level two for Ashley, level four for Alt. But that was the only real visible mistake and effect. Well, congratulations on taking something that's very difficult. You don't really see this across the field in this year's rhythm dance theme of the 80s it was brave and courageous and you did a great job well once again their season's best is 56.75 and they have a new season's best of 56.84 and they're happy with that. That'll put them currently in the eighth place. Great job. <laughs> heart, 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 heart. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Getting ready for group number seven, the final group in the rhythm dance field of 21, uh, 31, and it'll be cut down to 20, and you can see the cues beside the names, that means those teams have qualified for the free dance with six teams to come, or five teams to come, pardon me. Representing the United States of America, Leah Lesser and Artem Markelov. And representing France, Selena Franci and Johan Fernand. Well, there is Elizabeth Kachenko and Alexei Kilikov, both 18 years of age. They were third. This is their third Junior World Championship. They were 11th in Calgary, second in Osaka, first in Yarvin, second in the Junior Grand Prix Final in Beijing. Have had a very good season. They're coached by Alexei Father, Alexei Kilikov Sr.
from Ukraine, Irina Pitgena and Artem Koval. Irina is 15, Artem is 19. And they're so thankful to the Austrian Federation for their help in getting ice and helping them continue to train in such difficult times back home. And there is 17-year-old Daria Grimm and 20-year-old Mikhail Savitsky. Last year at the Junior Worlds, they could not complete that competition through illness, and they're the three-time German junior champions. They're pleased to be here now. They were first in Linz, first in Gdansk, third of the Junior Grand Prix final. Have had a great season, looking to top that off with a medal here in Taipei. And perhaps the favorites moving in to this event, 18-year-old Leah Nesset and 20-year-old Artem Markelev from the United States. They were first in Bangkok, first in Osaka. They win the Junior Grand Prix final. And they were fifth last year at the Junior World Championships in Calgary. They are something very special. And the final skaters in this event will be 18-year-old Selina Fragi and 20-year-old Jean-Hans Fonneau from France. This is the third Junior World Championship, sixth last year in Calgary. They were second in Bangkok, third in Osaka, and fourth in the Junior Grand Prix final in Beijing. Such little difference between the teams, particularly the last few groups, and now this group as well. You'll see these teams, they're all experienced. They're all strong. Oh, just a small collision there, which is not unusual in ice dance warm-ups. And ultimately, it will come down to the free dance of course there'll be so many teams that are close and we say this always uh, it's obvious in every event but more so in ice dance you cannot make a visual mistake you cannot take a fall that's just too big of a mistake it'll separate you you know in singles if you fall on a triple but you land your quads you know you're going to see a fall but you're still going to have those points but in ice dance you don't see a lot of falls this is for sure Perhaps sometimes a little stumble, the twizzles, maybe a little bobble in the twizzles, whatnot. But if you're at this level and there's such little difference between the teams, you really cannot afford a mistake. But you have to be loose enough to perform at a high level as well. So it's a complicated mixture of both physical and psychological and emotional readiness for the moment. Here we go, the final five teams. And they're all good and they want to be in that final group for the free dance. And they know they cannot make a mistake in this rhythm dance. And here we go. Our first team represents Israel. Elizabeth Kachenko and Alexei Kilikov. A big score of 68.52. They earned that in the final Junior Grand Prix in Yarovin, Armenia. And they would love to have that score here right now because that would take the lead. And they'll skate to Oya, oh yeah, Desire, and the race by Yellow.
while a nod of approval by Elizabeth to Alexei at the end of that dance. They're both very competitive team. And they were happy. Just with that nod, you can see they're happy with that performance. And great intensity, high levels, uh, high GOE scores, every element above one and one element in the mid twos. So the quality of each element at the very, very high level. Tussles were both level four for each partner, level three and one for the diagonal steps. But they'll come close to their 68.52 with that program. Skate so close together, they track each other so well, they don't even need to necessarily look, they just know where each other is. speed coming into these twizzles drifted a little bit there but not badly as I mentioned level four for both of the 1.94 GOE 9.28 for that first element that's the highest score in the twizzles we've seen so far in the competition Diagonal steps here, level three for Elizabeth, level only level one for Alexei, but a 2.38 GOE score. There's the rotation lift at the end. Program component scores in the mid sevens. And so this score should take the lead. Well, for these teams near the end of the event, it's not just about getting a personal best or you know having a great skate. It is about, I want to be on the podium. So how close will I be to that? That score is important for their mission, for their goal. And it has to do with the result, not just the improvement of their personal score, which for most teams, it is that moving up, moving their score up. But here it is. But wins and losses, medals. The so the intensity of the weight. And here is the rhythm dance score. 65.88. And that is first in the rhythm dance. So they take the lead. But there are four very good teams yet to skate. Our next team represents Ukraine, Irina Pitgena and Artem Kaval. 61.77. Their season's best, earning that in Budapest. And they'll skate to give me give me the night and pump up the jam.
Well, you could see the disappointment at the end of this program, just out of sync, and Artem had to take that fall on the second or on the first Rocker Fox Trot sequence. The side. And as I mentioned, you just could cannot make a mistake. There's too many good teams here. 61.77 is their season's best. They're going to fall pretty much short of that. And it did affect, to a certain degree, the rest of the program. It was hard to catch up, to get onto the music, and just a little bit of out of sync. comfortable and confident here you can see at the opening of the program and there's the fall right there just lost the edge stepping on the left forward outside edge just started to slide to hit the boot takes the fall into the boards and got a little bit certainly a lot off time and that's a minus 2.55 of the GOE And after that, even though the choreography was still performed, it wasn't as natural. You carry that disappointment, not everyone, but most often you carry that disappointment to the rest of the program in one way or another. Midline steps in at level two for both skaters. Rotational lift at the end, level four, that was no problem. Loba has done such a wonderful job with so many teams from Ukraine and you can see trying to lighten the moment as much as possible not easy of course in in that situation and keeping things in perspective Well, the program component scores in at the low to mid sixes. And of course, that GOE score of minus 2.63 for the fall. And as we often mention in short programs and the rhythm dance, Mistakes, they really, they can't, the short programs of the rhythm dance, you cannot win the event with just that one, but you can't put yourself out of contention. So you really have to skate either clean or as close to everyone else's standard as you possibly can to remain within striking distance. And a big mistake like this will be costly as far as the positioning after the rhythm dance. We have three teams yet to skate. And the scores are now finally in. Here they are. Their season's best 61, and this is 51. 10 points off their season's best. And you can see Helena nodding her head, knowing, yes, that's correct. That's what happened. And that is really unfortunate for a good team. Wish them all the best as they enter their free dance. Our next team represents Germany 
17-year-old Daria Grimm, 20-year-old Mikhail Savitsky, three-time German junior champions. They're coached by Russell Up Citizen, 66.49 is their season's best in the rhythm dance, and they will skate to No Way Out, Ticket to the Moon, and So Serious, all by Electric Light Orchestra. Well, you can see Daria going, yes. Well, that was a, their, perhaps their strongest rhythm dance of the season. They skated open and free. And what does that mean exactly? Well, for sure, teams are nervous. And you're always maybe a little bit tight. And so you, you might that might be reflected slightly. It's hard for everyone to see that. But this team was open and free and comfortable throughout the program. And sometimes when you're kind of loose like that, you run a, a bit of a risk, but you either run a risk by not doing that. You want to make the judges feel that you're totally in the moment, totally in control and enjoying every note. And they did as they are greeted by the coach, Russell of Sinison coming off the ice. Such a nice gentleman and has done such a wonderful job with so many teams. Sharp and crisp right off the top of the program. And a very different number from the rest of the programs we've seen so far. Difficult entry into these twizzles.
You can see how nice and close they skate. Same depth of edge, same speed, same movements. And teams are always trained to do that, but quite often it's a little bit out of sync, but not with this team, not tonight. Nice rotational lift at the end of the program. And there you go. Well, their season's best is 66.69, and if they can get that or higher, that will give them the lead. And it will be close. Right now, Elizabeth Kachenko, Alexei Kilikov is at first. But not any longer. 66.11, that puts Daria and Mikhail currently in the first place. Great job. So nice, they had to miss the Junior World Championships last year. They're here now, and at the moment, at least, with two teams to come, they're in first place. Our next team, perhaps the favorites coming into this event, 18-year-old Leah Nesset and 20-year-old Artem Markalov from the United States. They're coached by Elena Dostotny. And the choreograph by Caitlin Weaver. And Nikolai Morozov, 72.48 season's best in the rhythm dam. Skating to still loving you, and I hate myself for loving you. What a great, great rhythm dance by Leah Nesset and Artem Markalov from the United States. You can see at the end, four points ahead of Daria Grimm and Mikhail Savitsky technically in the rhythm dance. 
all the GOE scores, the quality scores for each one of the elements in the mid, like 1.35, 1.32, 1.58, 2.97 for the Twizzles, which were both at level four, and 3.14 for the mid nine steps, level three for Leah and level two for Artem. Highest level of difficulty so far in the competition and the highest quality scores, the GOE scores so far as well. So there's 72.48 season's best. They'll come close to that and it'll be enough to take the lead at this stage with one team to come. When you watch this team dance and it's not against any of the other teams because they're outstanding as well. They're just a cut above, just a little stronger on every step. A little bit more speed. Look at the depth of edge and the speed. And the first Rocker Foxtrot, all yes, yes, and no, no. So they've got four yeses, four no's for the key points. Such confidence as they roll. She rolls over the shoulders, stands on the thighs as he's in a spread eagle on that straight line left. So difficult, but so well done. Nice and tidy and quick twizzles. First set, grab the plate. Second set, arms extended. Third, a different position there as well. So level four and level only level three for Artem on that. And that's so hard to do, to drop to the ice, to continue to dance, to get back up and not miss a beat. Great work by the choreographers. And Caitlin Weaver, not sure who did which program, but Caitlin Weaver and Nikolai Morozov. Well, 18 and 20. They have another year, I believe, of eligibility in junior, but this is a senior ready team. We might see them move into seniors next year. We'll see, we'll find out in a number of months yet to come. Rhythm Dance score 70.16. That is first. It's not their season's best. That's okay. They just need enough to take the lead, and they did with one team to come. A four point lead over Daria Grimm and Mikhail Savitsky of Germany. Their colleagues, their teammates in the stands cheering them on as. We get ready for the final team in the rhythm dance from France. 18-year-old Selina Fragi and 20-year-old Jean-Hans Fono. 65 point or 61.60 is their season's best skating to still loving you by the Scorpions and back is black.
Selena Faji and Jean-Hans Fonot from France. A couple little baubles here and there for Selena. Not too obvious, but still a strong program. And their season's best of 61.60. They'll come close to that score. But there are three elements under review right at the moment. We'll see how that may or may not change the score up or down. Selena had to work really hard to not let those little mistakes, those little loss of balance affect the rest of the program. She did such a good job to hold that together. It was hard to sort of see, but it was there. And there's that little bobble right there at the end of the midline step sequence. Just a loss of balance. Level three for both Selena and Jahan's on that. And there are the twizzles. Level three for Selena and level four for Jahan's. So drop the level. Positive GOE though. Rotational lift a little bit. Looks like a little bit of loss of balance on some of those turns, but that was okay. Level three only on the rotational lift, so it's currently under review. So skating last and hearing some of the scores and knowing you got to skate clean. It's a skill that you can't even train for because it's just real life at the moment. You can't simulate that because it's got to do with emotion. It's got to do with if you're affected by your surroundings, what you see, what you hear. Selena just a little disappointed knowing there were just a couple baubles in the dance and coach Karine Aribert reassuring her Here we go. Rhythm dance scores for Selena Fragi and Jean Has Fono 61.52. That is sixth in the rhythm dance, and that will be disappointing, no question. There's a look at the final standings. Leonesset, Artem Markilov, 70.16, uh, good four point lead. Daria Grimm and Ma Mikhail Savitsky, 66.11. Elizabeth Kachenko and Alexei Kilikov at 65.88, your top three after the rhythm dance. As we take a look at the standings for the rest of the field, and those cues mean they have qualified top 20 for the free dance. And the rest of the athletes, unfortunately, will go home having executed the rhythm dance and will not get a chance to do the free dance. But that is part of the process at the junior world level and seniors as well. Well, 
in the discipline of ice dance, the smallest of errors costs so much, more so than the other disciplines. Let's take a look at the leaders in the top three. Elizabeth Kachenko, Alexei Kilikov from Israel. They have a 65.88. A strong performance, so powerful. So well suited for each other. They've had a long career together. They know, look at the tracking of each other, the position, the distance, the speed between each other. And then second, Daria Grimm and Mikhail Savitsky last year missing out on the Junior World Championship. 66.11. They had a great skate. They were thrilled with the performance and the result. They skated so openly and so free, aggressively, but not over the edge. You see the rotational lift right at the end of their program. And that is pure joy. The leaders, by a good four points, Leah Nesset, Artem Markelov of the United States. They were the favorites coming into this competition. And they showed us why in the rhythm dance. Just a cut above. Look at how close they are, those twizzles. Great speed, great unison. That concludes our coverage of the Rhythm Dance here on day three. Up next, the women's final, the free program. It'll start at 17.45 local time in Taipei. You won't want to miss that. All the women are brilliant. It was a great short program, but the pressure will be on. Make sure you join us for that. We'll be back with the women's free right after this.